Hello winners, welcome back to Mr. Plays Resistance 2. Now, we're pretty far into the game. We're actually incredibly close to the very end here. And one of the things that I wanted to show off here is the character model for Nathan Hale, one of the last cutscenes you saw. They talk about how bad everything had gotten and how bad it actually is. And when you started this game, Nathan Hale looked kind of like your generic hero. Cro um, cropped head, like just soldier man. Widow's Peak, everything else. And you're like, okay, that's the human. That's your human, protag, gruff soldier. And now as we're at the end of it, he doesn't look quite as human. He kind of takes this like oily, moist look to him. His jawline, like all of his skin is very much tucking in. His shapes, like he still looks human, but he doesn't look right. And it's one of those things that often unnerves people a lot of times when we talk about horror or anything else like that. The scariest thing is that thing that looks like us, but doesn't, like, it resembles us. It doesn't look like us. Like, it's tall, it's walking, maybe it has elongated strides, maybe it kind of, like, glides, or just, like, a little bit janky, like the, the girl from The Grudge. Like, okay, she looks like a person. And then you watch her move, and it's this kind of, like, really abrupt, like, movement, and then she snaps into place, and that's the movement. Or if you've ever seen uh, the Silent Hill movies when they show the nurses, the nurses were all done by acrobats. Um, so with like strobe lights and like the movements that they're able to accomplish with their bodies, it looks terrifying and they don't look correct. So I just thought this would be a fun thing to highlight because this is something they didn't have to do in the game. Um, and I don't know, probably happens a lot more now where they show games where like something changes, uh, depending on where you're at in it. But I, I like this as you come back and you now look at your character and your character looks ill. He doesn't look well. And I, I just, I love that subtlety. I love that attention to detail. It's something that they definitely put in here well especially with him like holding an alien weapon here we've got hostiles to the north tree line should give us a pretty good vantage point for a shooting scoot i'll spot you move into position command have you located major blake Negative, sir. No response on any channel. We have to assume the package is out in the open. All right, so here we are. We are now in... We're now in the... Bi oh. We're now in the bayous of Louisiana, and that's... I'm actually glad that happened. I don't know if we actually ever caught that before, but that's what it looks like when you jump in the water and a fury gets you. So it is one of those, like, all right, you really got to watch where you're stepping now. Oh, he's right there. No response on any channel. We have to assume the package is out in the open. What's the package? Vision bomb. Blake was escorting it to Field HQ when his team fell off the grid. It's our job to get it back. Wow. I forgot how aggressive they could be here. So this is assaulting one of the houses. It kind of looks like this uh, House of the Rising Sun thing um, that have definitely been uh, in a lot of different movies here. Alright. Now one of the things that I, I wish happened was, because I, I've started to turn a lot faster here, I wish I began to like have a little bit more healing properties, and it wasn't just like, oh, here's... Alright. Nope. Alright. This is going to be a little bit of a tricky, tricky one. I, for, I forgot about the sequence. I knew the sequence was a little bit harder, but I did uh, kind of forget about it over on my end. All right, let's see if we can do this. I love how weird all those things look when they get slowed down like that. It really just does not look good. Let's see where I see where that was coming from. There he is. So the slowing down thing, one of the things that's like great about it is that it does it does look or it does really help you out there when trying to land some of these more difficult shots. 
However, it also slows you down, which is a bit frustrating. And luckily, that should be just about everyone. Uh, take this real quick. Now, I do have to clear out this house a little bit, which is... That is terrifying. You just hear all these growls. This giant-ass bayou house. Pretty sure horror movies go this way. But that works. Alright. Stella's getting her groove back. Oh, okay. So here's a fun one, guys. One, we're now being shot at by augers from downstairs. Which is terrifying. We're getting shot by the augers from downstairs, so, like, here's this invasion that now happens. No, the irony here is not lost on me. Luckily... That gives me some abilities. Oh god, here they come. That's some things that I have there. Not a lot, but some. Alright, now they should be coming up here. We want to take out the augers, especially first, because they are going to do the most damage to me. Uh, being able to shoot through the walls, like, pretty unfair advantage. Hail, come in. You've got a marauder sniffing around your location. Hold position. Repeat. Hold position. And there's the marauder. Now... What truly makes him interesting is that he looks like one of the, the dogs from the original um, original game. They would come out and, like, attack you. Um, and there were only a couple points where they had him, and they, they definitely had this very strange look about them. Um, but overall, very interesting. I cannot get on the roof, though, which is a, a huge, huge... Huge bummer there. Hey, buddy. That was almost terrifying. That was almost very terrifying. Alright, where's where's the Marauder? We're gonna hunt down Big Boy over here real quick. Now, this guy is, like I said, he's a really fun design. Let me go ahead and find him real quick. There he is. Now, I'm going to say, just like every other boss in this game, he's a bullet sponge. Um, Alright, there's everything I have there. So, now what I need to do is I'm going to go here. Let's get the Bullseye Mark II. Um, and we're new up here, and we're going to grab that rocket launcher that I haven't really touched. Because it kind of, like... 
goes like, oh, hey, you should use it now. And, um, what he actually does, though, is because the only time you fight him, he will shoot. Ah. 